Here I am much later because uh, the video I made was too long for WhatsApp to take it. So I had to break it down. I will break it down into another two or three sessions and send it to you one by one. So here I go. That's the third time I'm doing it. So we need the flour and what we got is a bit of excess. So what I do is just shave off the excess flour to make a level cup of fine flour. Put it in. I hope there's something else in there. And that's the flour with a change of colour. And then I put in almost all the water, keep some back because different flowers absorb different amounts of water. And just mix it in to a very slack, very sticky sort of dough that will make your, your hand a bit messy. But don't worry about that. Make sure you got a nice, even, smooth of all the ingredients bowl. So that leaves the side of the bowl itself nice and clean and you work it until it's quite smooth. The wetter you can keep it the better. So that's the water that's trapped within the dough when we try to cook it, when we try to bake it, will convert into steam and make the paste rise up slightly because when we put it in the oven or put it on the plate a crust is formed that will prevent that steam to escape so at this stage I put my plate on number three ready for the baking and continue doing this for a while The consistency is just about right. I remove the excess water and keep the excess flour in case I need it. I certainly will when I, I roll out the pastry. All right. I'm finished with the bowl. So I put it in the sink. Wipe the board clean. Put a tiny bit of flour onto the board. Spread it out nicely, and now comes the best bit, which is the kneading. It needs quite a bit of violence to it. And you can see it's still sticking to my finger quite a lot. As soon as you feel that it starts to come off the fingers, then we can do the kneading real and proper, which is now. I just get rid of uh, the bits on my fingers. Again, there's a matter if it's on there. So now you realize why we need clean hands. And now we start the kneading. We're using the ball of my hand. And for this you really need a, a fairly sturdy table, unlike mine, which is just a makeshift table or board on top of a, a sink unit. But what you want to do is to really bash it quite well so as to really make the paste quite elastic and use the ball of your hand if you had a larger amount of paste you will use both ends just knead it nicely move it back and forth until it's quite smooth necessary bit of flour on your hand get rid of the rest of the, the dough on your fingers And continue. Normally, it will continue for about five or ten minutes at least, so it is really elastic. I say two hands is better, but if I do that, my board will actually wander off into the sink, which is something I want to avoid. So, very soon, I stop this video and then move on to the next stage with a, a second section. What I want to achieve right now 
is a smooth elastic ball. What you're looking for is when you push your thumb in, that sort of dimple should go back to almost the original shape. At this stage, you can always let it rest for the five minutes. And that's where I stop the video and try to send this to you. And then the next one, if this is successful, I'll send as soon as I'm ready. Thank you for watching so far. See you later.